Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, video with Kenneth here, and I today I'm going to be talking about the new LEGO Star Wars 2020 Summer Wave, the good, the bad, and my opinion. So, this should be a pretty fun video. As, all, as always guys, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Helps a lot. Anyway, um, first up, the, um, I should call this the, the official set is the 501st Clone Troopers. Now, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this set. We're going to go with the good first. So the good about this set is it exists. So we're getting 501st Clone Troopers, uh, three of them in this set, and one 501st Jet Trooper is just amazing. I cannot, the blue jet pack is so awesome. They're in season seven, I love it. I hate that the 501st Troopers have white arms. There's just not enough blue on them for me. But hey, still 501st Troopers. They're fine. They have toe printing, so I guess that's okay. Anyway, so the bad about this set is that it is basically a double battle pack. It has... It is a double battle pack because it has two of the small battle pack builds. Except one of the battle pack builds is not small. It is kind of big. So it's a little bit of bigger of a battle pack build than it is the ATRT. But, um, so for this reason, LEGO can get away for not giving you eight minifigures in the set and only giving you six. Although, two of them are droids, so I technically don't count them. So you're technically getting two battle packs worth of builds, but only four minifigures for two times the price of a battle pack? I don't know, I'm not sure how that works. But LEGO, LEGO's point for why they can not give you eight clone troopers and only give you four is, well, eight is a lot, and the ATRT build is huge. But is the ATRT build really that good? I think if we look at it, it's not that good at all. The only weapon it has is a stud shooter, and stud shooters are stupid. So, I mean, I really hate the ATRTs in general that are this big. The old 501st ATRT that they made, and now this one. They're just too big. They need to scale down the ATRT to something like the green ATRT from the Clone Turbo Tank set in like 2015 or 2016. I don't remember which one that was. But that would have really been nice. It could have dropped the price down five or ten bucks, but they didn't. So we have this set. So it's good that it exists. Bad that there's a stupid ATRT, and that's my thoughts on that. The next set is the. I don't know the number, but it is the Anakin Starfighter set. Now, the good. There's no good. So the bad, uh, they just made this set in 2014, and I guess it was like six years, but this is the 2014 model, and it is so good, I don't know how they can make it any better and why they needed to release another one. It has R2-D2 here, perfectly in the socket, and it opens up, and oh, the Anakin's not in there, but there's an Anakin minifigure that goes in there, a printed tiles for him to like move the joysticks, and place for him to put his lightsaber with spring-loaded shooters. So, I mean, that it was just a great set, and I don't know why they're doing that, so. There's... The next set is the Blue AAT. Now, I am really excited for this one because um, we've only gotten one Blue AAT. We've gotten two tan ones from episode one, but this will be from the Clone Wars, and now I'm excited for this set because you can do so, you could go so many different ways with this set, and all of them are pretty much good. So, um, I'll go into that in a little bit. First of all, it's good that it exists again. Second of all, it's bad. I don't really see any bad with this set. I mean, the unknown, there's gonna be a lot of it. Like, I assume they're going to include some droids, probably a pilot droid or just a normal droid that pilot the thing. Anyway, and then maybe a super battle droid. I'm not sure. Um, what they could totally do is, um, I was thinking maybe they could throw in the Bad Batch, put the Bad Batch in there. You know, there's an AAT that attacks the Bad Batch. So, and then there's rumors that there's an unknown set, and that set is a Blue Clone Wars AAT. So you know, or MTT. So you could have Blue AAT, Blue MTT, split up the Bad Batch between them. I thought that would have been nice. And if they don't do that, that's totally fine. I'm sure they'll bring the Bad Batch in somewhere else, because everyone loves the Bad Batch. They just 
I mean, I don't love them a ton, but LEGO would be stupid if they didn't put the Bad Batch into LEGO. So, um, another way you could go with this is to throw in an Ahsoka minifigure. LEGO did say that they would be putting some minifigures in here that you would not expect, so that could be a Ahsoka and maybe a 332nd Trooper. Maybe this could be like the only set that has a 332nd Trooper. I don't know. But regardless of what this has, I'm going to get it anyway. I need an AAT in blue. So, next. The $70 Night Buzzard. Now, the Night Buzzard is from Episode 9. It's the Knights of Ren ship. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're a normal person. There's no reason for this ship to be made. Lego is trying to make the Knights of Ren exclusive to single set so that you have to buy almost $300 worth of Lego. Actually, I think it's $250 if you wanted to get all four of these minifigures. And it just doesn't seem that worth it for me. Like, in the January wave, they did a $90 TIE Fighter. But they cut the TIE Fighter so instead of a hexagon, it was a triangle. So they basically... Just cut it in half and up to the price. And I don't really understand why and would move by that. So I'm personally not really an episode nine fan. So this set literally, there's no good to it. The bad, there's a ton. The unknown, I don't care. Um, the next set, ooh, the General Grievous' Starfighter. This set has like 400 something pieces for $80. Now, I don't know the price for a piece for that, but that is insane. There's no way. Like, the 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 double battle pack, the 501st double battle pack from earlier, that was, like, 250-something pieces, and that was only for $30. So, for more than double, you're getting less than double. So, anyway, uh, the only way, the only way I could potentially buy this would be if it came with a phase two cody i think um lego could probably get away with putting a phase two cody in there and asking for so much for it even then i'm still going to buy it on sale there's no way anyone unless they're like filthy rich is going to buy this for 80 dollars there is no way that the, the obi-wan kenobi the general grievous i mean i could use a new general grievous but for 80 dollars no so the good maybe there's no good. The bad, it's way too much money. The, the unknown, do we have a Cody? And does that Cody make it worth it is the real question. If it's just a 212th trooper, then no. Next up is the at, -AT the new at, -AT. It, There's official pictures of it up, so I'm sure you can find those somewhere. And they made this one a lot taller than the previous at, -AT, -AT which is in 2014. So it's been six years again, so they brought back the Anakin Starfighter and the at, -AT from the same year, in the same year. And also, also, that was the Revenge of the Sith era, I, I'm guessing. So maybe they're trying to bring those back? I don't know, because with the Grievous of Starfighter. Anyway, the at, -AT they made it longer, bigger, and better. But is it worth the terrible price of $160? To me, no. You're only getting six minifigures, one of them being General Veers, another one being a Luke Skywalker in pilot outfit. So, I mean, I don't care if it's updated, I have like 20 of those, so we don't we don't need another one of those. They should have just taken it out and thrown in a snow trooper, I don't know what they were thinking. Two at, -AT driver pi pilots, and you can actually fit them and General Veers both in the front of the head of the at, -AT so that's kind of cool. And then snow troopers, there's only two, but there's spot for six of them in the at, -AT. And I just really hate when LEGO doesn't send enough troopers to fill out your ship. Like, they'll make this huge tank, like the at -E from 2013. They made this huge tank, and then they threw in one clone trooper minifigure that was a captain and wouldn't be driving it anyway. So I don't really know what they were doing, and they need to stop this madness. Next up is the... Mandalorian and Child Brickheads. The good, the Baby Yoda eyes. Oh man, those just look so sad and oh, the puppy eyes, they, they got me. I'm gonna buy this. I hate Brickheads, but I'm buying this one just for the Baby Yoda. I mean, this is gonna sell like crazy because of the Baby Yoda. And the good, it has Baby Yoda. 
the bad, I don't know if there's really a bad part of this, and then the unknown is, there's no unknown, because we've seen this set picture for months. So, next up is the Razor Crest at $130. This is an Amazon exclusive. Um, and I really hate when they do exclusives. They tend to be overpriced, and for $130 or $120, this Razor Crest, I would be, hmm, I'm still debating on whether or not I would buy this, even with seeing it all. I don't know. The good, we have a Razor Crest. That's awesome. The bad, it's way too overpriced. There's no unknown. The next up is the Advent Calendar. So this is the. Uh, you know, Lego does an advent calendar every year. You know, get a big Lego set, it's in a big Lego box, and um, it has minifigures and little builds in it. And you, you build one each day of, the, of December, and it looks great. Well, we know the minifigures of this advent calendar, and they are Ugly Sweater Darth Vader, a Gonk Droid, Ray. Poe, Luke Skywalker, Cloud City, a Sith Trooper, a Storm Trooper, a Battle Droid, a Porg, and Dio. Now, Dio is too small to be a minifigure, a Battle Droid is not a minifigure, a Porg, not a minifigure, a Gonk Droid, not a minifigure, so that's four of the twelve minifigures already bad, so that's only three-fourths left could potentially be good. Rey, we've seen her a million times, Poe, we've seen him a lot, Cloud City Luke, We've seen him a lot too. Stormtrooper, we see them a lot. So now only half of them are good. Actually, excuse me. No, one third of them is good. My math is wrong. So the only thing that would be interesting would be potentially a Darth Vader ugly sweater and a Sith Trooper. So there is no good there. And uh, so I'm pretty disappointed. Like I said, um, I was hoping for some really nice Clone Wars sets and um, they just didn't give it to us, but the Fiber First Battle Pack thing is cool, and the ATAT is great, so I hope they do some good things there. As always, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you disagree with my ideas, I'm always open to hear yours, so please tell me, and I will respond back to you. So, thank you guys, and see you next time.